Yo, 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 what's going on fellas? It's your boy Tristan, aka Sriracha DFS, back once again with DFS Karma. Welcome to another first impression video where we do a very early preview of the next NBA slate. The main purpose of this video is to give you guys the uh, totals of each slate, who's favored, injury rundown, who benefits, who takes a hit from it, you know how it is. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you do not miss out on any of our free media content or our live streams. Also, make sure you're in our free chat room where we're discussing these DFS 24-7 all day, every day. Free advice free plays free picks free articles all in there chat dfs.com link is down in the description below if you're interested free invite it only benefits you why not check it out right anyways it is a 10 game slate pretty big slate for this wednesday let's get right into it orlando at cleveland first game on the slate opened up at a 212 and a half total cleveland favored by two and a half on the orlando side terrence ross is questionable uh james ennis is questionable devin kennedy out michael carter williams out auto porter out and marco fultz out as well if terrence ross and james ennis continue to sit bump up to cole anthony dwayne bacon uh chuma okeke and rj hampton a little bit um, if one of them does play, then it's a bump down to those players because they do take away usage, take away minutes. Um, on the Cleveland side, Colin Sexton out, Larry Nance out, Torian Prince out, Isaiah Hartenstein out, Matthew Della Vadova out, Dylan Windler out, and Lamar Stevens out as well. So it's going to be a big bump up to Darius Garland, Isaac Coro, Chetty Osman, uh, maybe Dean Wade. Dean Wade saw, saw a lot of minutes last game. I do expect them to see good minutes again. Jared Allen, also a decent play. Um, two bad teams, man. Cleveland and Orlando, two bad teams right now, especially with Cleveland uh, missing all these players. So uh, definitely love that. Next game, Atlanta at Philly opened up at a 220 total. Philly favored by eight. On the Atlanta side, Brandon Goodwin questionable. Kevin Huerter doubtful. Trey Young out. Cam Reddish out. DeAndre Hunter out. And Tony Snow out as well. If Brandon Goodwin is out, big bump up to Lou Williams. I think he can be their starting point guard tomorrow if Brandon Goodwin is out. Because Kevin Huerter doubtful. Expect them to miss. Uh, big bump up to Bogdan Bogdanovich. Then Lou Gallinari. Solomon Hill. John Collins. Uh, they all need to perform. It's a good defensive Philly team. Uh, Philly is just good in general so uh, you could see a blowout here uh, or or if they keep it close you definitely want uh, a couple pieces of this Atlanta team uh, Philly side Mike Scott questionable doesn't really change much next game let's go Charlotte at Boston opened up at a 223 and a half total Boston favored by six and a half uh, both teams are on a back-to-back -back for the day Charlotte side Gordon Hayward out uh, Lamella ball out and Malik Monk still out as well uh, still bumps up to Terry Rozier, Miles Bridges, Devontae Graham, PJ Washington, and we've seen Cody Martin pop off in a couple spots, so he's definitely worth a look in tournaments. Boston side, Robert Williams questionable, didn't play last night. Jason Tatum questionable, didn't play last night. Kemba Walker is out again. If Jason Tatum were to miss again, then Jalen Brown, Mark, uh, Marcus Smart, and uh, Evan Fournier all get bumps. Um, Peyton Pritchard had a career high last game or yesterday so uh, I usually don't play people after their career highs just because it's hard to replicate the same and you also have that pressure like you just knew you just popped off the last night you know all eyes are on you um, I don't see him doing this again he will get the usage though if Jason Tatum's out again um, if Robert Williams is out again then a little bump to Tristan Thompson we see or we saw him last night not play too much didn't really get too much time on the floor so uh, he is only worth a look in tournaments to me uh next game lakers at washington let's go baby you know how it is um opened up at a 223 total lakers favored by three um lakers side marcus all probable anthony davis probable kcp contavious couple pope probable dennis schroeder probable alex caruso questionable and lebron james out um kind of tough to gauge this team um ad came back uh so the usage is spread back around um, everyone else seems to be playing besides Alex Caruso and LeBron James, so um, it's tough to find a spot to really attack here, even though we do love attacking Washington. Uh, on the Washington side, perhaps, or actually, uh, Robin Lopez probable and Danny Abdija out. Uh, basically, just a little bump to Davis Bertans and Rui Hachimura, nothing too big. Next game, Chicago at New York opened up at a 207 total, 207 and a half, my mistake. Uh, New York favored by five and a half. Chicago side, Zach Levine out, Troy Brown out as well. Bump up to Kobe White, Nikola Vucevic, uh, Nikola, sorry, Nikola Vucevic 
um, definitely do get the uh, usage bump there. New York side, Alec Burks still out. Mitchell Robinson out as well. Bump up to Julius Randle, uh, Reggie Bullock especially, and uh, maybe some RJ Barrett. Next game, San Antonio at Miami opened up at a 209 total. Miami favored by five. On the San Antonio side, Derek White will be out and Trey Lyles as well. Uh, bump up to DeJunte Murray. Bump up to DeMar DeRozan. Uh, Keldon Johnson. But it's a pretty trash matchup. Pretty slow paced game 209 total uh tough to even think about playing players from this game uh especially on a slate like this where there are other ga good games to attack but um you could see a couple of these plays in the ga game winning lineup tomorrow so miami side gave vincent probable tyler harrow questionable kendrick nunn questionable if tyler harrow and kendrick nunn both sit again bump up to jimmy butler goran dragic uh bam out of bio Next game, Portland at Memphis opened up at a 235 total. Memphis favored by two, and Portland's on a back to back. Uh, there's no news on the Portland side, but watch just in case if anyone gets rested. Not sure if it'll happen. On the Memphis side, no new injuries. Jaron Jackson comes back from his injury management rest. Um, usage will be spread out there. Next game, New Orleans at Denver opened up at a 228.5 total. Denver favored by four. New Orleans side, Steven Adams questionable, James Johnson questionable, Josh Hart and Nikhil Alexander-Walker still out as well. If Steve, Steven Adams uh, sits again, bump up to Willie Hurd on Gomez and uh, maybe Jackson Hayes because it's going to be tough to guard Jokic. So. Um, but I think Willie Hurd on Gomez is the guy for that. Um, but make sure James Johnson is also ruled out because he is known to play some minutes, take away minutes from the bigs. Um, yeah, Denver side, Jamal Murray out. Will Barton out, Monte Morris out, big bumps up to PJ Dozier, uh, Michael Porter Jr., uh, especially Nikola Jokic, and we actually saw Aaron Gordon be a little more aggressive last game. It's promising, it's encouraging, but I just, we gotta see a big pop-up game. He's only in worth the look in tournaments as of now, just because we know how much usage opens up when Jamal Murray and Will Barton are off the floor. Next game, Utah at Sacramento open, opened up at a 230.5 total. Utah favored by 8.5. I actually love attacking this spot tomorrow because uh, on the Utah side, Donovan Mitchell and Mike Conley are out tomorrow. Huge bump up to Jordan Clarkson, Joe Ingles, Bojan Bogdanovic, and uh, a little bit of Royce O'Neal. On the Sacramento side, Marvin Bagley's questionable, Harrison Barnes questionable, and De'Aaron Fox is out. We need to see if uh, Marvin Bagley plays at all tomorrow, um, and we also definitely need uh, Harrison Barnes news for sure because uh, he's a vital part of that team, plays like 35 plus minutes a night. It will open it up for sure if he sits. Bump up to all the Kings players. Um, Halliburton, Tyrese Halliburton, Buddy Heald, Maurice Harkless will have to play huge minutes tomorrow. Um, we might even see, um, we might even see, uh, whatchamacallit, more Harkless shift to the four if uh, Harrison Barnes is out, which means that everyone moves down a spot. Um, so uh, we could see the lawn right start. We just don't know with Luke Walton. So. Next game, last game, Clippers at Phoenix opened up at a 224.5 total. Phoenix favored by 3.5. On the Clippers side, Amir Coffey questionable, Nick Batum questionable, Kawhi Leonard doubtful, Serge Ibaka out, Patrick Beverly out as well. Kawhi sits, in my opinion, so bump up to Paul George, of course. It's a tough Phoenix defense, though. A uh, little bump up to Ibiza Zubac. Um, and if Nick Batum and Amir Coffey sit, then you can, little, I guess, give a little bump to Patrick Patterson, Terrence Mann, or Luke Kennard. I'm um, not really sure if I'm going to go there though. On the Phoenix side, Abdel Nader out um, and uh, Jay Crowder questionable, Darius Saric questionable as well. If they both are out again, uh, it's basically a bump up to either Cam Johnson or Torrey Craig. I do believe, uh, in my opinion, that Torrey Craig will be the guy who plays minutes if uh, both of them are out again. Uh, just because of the matchup and uh, of course McCall Bridges gets a bump as well uh, just for minute consistency. And yeah, that wraps up this first impression video for the upcoming NBA slate. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the DFS Karma YouTube channel for more daily media content and our live streams. And yeah, I mean, that's all I had to say. Good luck tonight here, your contest. It's been your boy Tristan, aka Sriracha DFS. Have a good one. I'm out. Peace.